Our fourth presenter is Benjamin Glazer, whose presentation is titled Agile Design of High Strength Aluminum Alloys. Have you ever thought about what moves us? What gets us from point A to point B in this wide world of ours? In most cases, it's something like a car or a plane, right? But these systems contribute significantly to our global energy crisis, being responsible for 40% of our annual CO2 emissions. This comes from the fuel and energy used to power these systems, as well as to acquire, process, and assemble the materials used in them. And this isn't a new problem, but it's long been viewed as a mechanical issue. How do we make the engines more efficient, make them run with less fuel? But what if the problem isn't wholly mechanical? What if it's actually in the materials and that we can meet our sustainability goals by instead using lighter materials that require less fuel to use and come from more sustainable sources? Additionally, what if we make them have a longer lifetime, so we need to spend more energy and fuel replacing them? But well, we have a candidate for this, and that's aluminum. But aluminum on its own is very soft and ductile. We all know a, a soda can. You can pretty easily crush it, bend it, or twist it. And surely we don't want something like that to happen. So how do we solve this? Well, we alloy the aluminum. We introduce new elements to it that resolve into strengthening phases and features. But which elements? We have dozens of ones on the periodic table and millions of possible combinations and permutations. And once we select a certain subset of elements, how do we know what fractions and combinations they need to be in in order to achieve the best strengthening? It's a very high dimensional problem and our brains cannot handle it, which is where my research comes in as I'm using high throughput simulations and machine learning to very rapidly explore a, this high dimensional data set and unravel the underlying connections between how we change the compositions of our elements and how they drive the final performance. The system I'm exploring can be strengthened in one of two ways, a more conventional approach where we directly form them into our strengthening features. This causes them to develop at a micron scale, the thickness of a human hair, which is already very small and very strong. But for this system, we can also take a more complex approach we can first drive them into an intermediate step, activate it, and drive them into our final strengthening features. This traps them at a nanometer scale, a thousand times smaller, bringing us even further up this strength versus size curve. This system has already been used to design an alloy that's 50% stronger than aluminum that's available on the market. And as I continue to unravel the connections between the elements that make up that alloy and how we got to that final performance, I can achieve ones that have up to 95% strength retention with potentially 30% reductions in cost and emissions. And someday these alloys could be fueling your next set of vehicle fleets and aircraft. Thank you. <laughs> 